us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 23, which is the last question in this series of episodes that has focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen the other episode, I encourage you to check on our companion hub that you can download from the description section. Find the link. Or alternatively, you can check on our YouTube channel, go to the YouTube section, you find the videos that are grouped by the year. Then you'll be able to see all the episodes that give you the detailed ans answers to this paper. The question is, the diagram below shows the speed time graph of an object. The object accelerates uniformly from O to P until it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second in 4 seconds and then moves steadily from P to Q for 6 seconds and finally comes to rest. Find the A acceleration in the first 4 seconds. B, total distance covered by the object. C, average speed in the last four seconds. Okay, so just a matter of understanding the question, then you start answering. So the first question is asking us to find acceleration. So how do you find acceleration? So acceleration is given by final velocity minus initial velocity over time. In this case, what is the final velocity? Is 20. What's the initial velocity? Zero. What's the time difference? Change in time is 4 minus 0, which is 4. So uh, acceleration is equal to 20 meters per second minus 0 meters per second divided by 4. So we have 20 meters per second divided by 4 seconds. We end up with 5 meters per second square which is the acceleration then once you do that you are good to go and you get the one mark next we go to beam the total distance covered by the object so the total distance covered by the object this is area under the curve area under area under the graph. So we have A, B, C. So we need to find the area for A, the A, area for B, the area for C. Then we add those three, you get the distance. So if you look at A, A is a triangle with, we have four, the side, then the height of 20. B is a rectangle with the length 10 minus 4 which is 6 then the height 20 then C is the triangle with the the length of or the side of 5 which is 15 minus 10 then the height also 20 so let us find the area so we know distance is equal to a plus B plus C, which is the area under the, the graph. So we have half times 4 times 20, then plus 6, so I'm consistent times 20, then plus half. As you see, C also is a triangle, so it will be 5 times 20. So it will be 5 times 20. Then we are going to get half times 4 is a 2, 2 times 20 is 14, then plus 6 times 20 is 120, plus we have half times 5 is 2.5 times 20, we have 50. So we end up with 210 meters. So 210 meters total distance. 
covered by the object. Then we go to sim average speed in the last four seconds. So this is the last four seconds. You need to pay attention to this question. So where is the last four seconds? So the last four seconds starts from 11. Somewhere there. So we are looking for this area. Then under this, what's the average speed? So for us to find the average speed, we need to find the velocity at this point. What's the velocity at this point? And then, once you know the velocity, then we can just say so the velocity at this point, which is the initial velocity divided by, plus the velocity, we add these two, then we divide by two. Or we find the area under that curve, then we divide by four seconds. So there's a temptation to just go and say, okay, the area under this one is 15, then we divide by five, then you're going to find 10 meters per second. You say this is, that's not correct. You will not get you will not get it correct others would do make a, a temptation of just coming and say the area under this one will be 50 remember we've already found under c this 50 they'll get a 50 divided by 4 they'll get 12.5 again that one is in, not correct so to find that we need to find the deceleration this deceleration we need to find it so to find deceleration we're going to use this equation so deceleration in the last part of the, which is the last five seconds. What is deceleration there? That's the first step. So, let me use the lead pen, so that I use this area, so that I don't have to go there. So, we know that acceleration is equal to, so at this point is 20, then the final is zero. So, I'm going to have zero minus 20, divide by five seconds, I'm going to get minus four meters per second square. So, I know the, so it's decelerating uniformly at minus 4 meters per second square. Then from that, I can now use, from this equation, I can find the final velocity. So from this equation, I will know that final velocity is equal to acceleration times time plus initial velocity. I can use that equation. We know what deceleration is. Our acceleration itself is negative 4 meters per second. We know the initial velocity starting from 20 meters per second. Then the time that has elapsed from the time we started decelerating is 1 second. Because it will be 1 second here. So we substitute there to find the velocity at that point. So let us go and find the velocity. So we can use this one. So, the final velocity will equal to minus 4 times 1 second has elapsed, plus initial velocity of 20. Before we started accelerating, it was 20. So, this gives me minus 4 plus 20. So, I'm going to end up with 16 meters per second. This is the velocity. The velocity at this point. So, this is 16. That's the velocity. So once you find that, it becomes easier. The easiest way is to just find the average between this 0 and this 16. So just come here, get this one. So I can use this space, or even this space here. So to find average speed, I'll just say 16 meters per second plus 0 meters per second divided by 2. I'm going to end up with 8 meters per second. So 8 meters per second is the answer. Alternatively, what you can do is find the area under the shaded region. So how do you find the area? It will just be 16 multiplied by 4. So it will still be the same. So it will be the area, it will be 16 multiplied by 4 times half. Because it's a triangle, then we're going to end up with 32. So 32 meters. Then in the last 4 seconds, so it will be 32 meters divided by time which is in four seconds you're going to end up with eight meters per second which is still the same so take note of that so this is how you answer this question to get the full six marks so to come out smiling in an exam thank you for joining me in this series of episodes if you haven't seen the other episode please check out on our companion app download it you'll be able to see a lot of papers there a lot of questions to practice remember 
practice makes it permanent. Start smart as your exams.